In the summer of 2018, the boilers of the historic World War II era cargo ship SS Red Oak Victory were lit for the first time in 50 years. This is the story of reawakening a 75-year-old national treasure. The Red Oak Victory is a World War II Victory class cargo ship built in 1944 at the Kaiser Shipyards in Richmond, California. After World War II, the ship served as a merchant marine vessel for 22 years. She was mothballed in 1968, doomed to be scrapped. In the mid-1990s, the Richmond Museum Association recognized the importance of the ship to local history and her potential as a museum ship. They enlisted the help of Congressman George Miller, who added the conveyance to the Coast Guard Authorization Act in 1996. The ship was relocated to Richmond in 1998. The Red Oak Victory is one of only three remaining Victory ships in the world. An all-volunteer crew has been maintaining and restoring the ship for the past 20 years in anticipation of getting the ship fully operational again. After considerable planning, the time had come finally to light off the Red Oak Victory's boilers. The Red Oak Victory is located adjacent to a 100-acre automotive import distribution facility managed by the Port of Richmond and Auto Warehousing Company. Over 145,000 vehicles pass through the port each year. The ship was moved for the experimental light-off due to concerns that the emissions from boilers that had been silent for 50 years might tarnish the vehicles. The Red Oak Victory and Richmond Museum Association agreed to temporarily relocate the ship for the light-off to the California Maritime Academy dock. This move cost two years worth of the ROV's operational profit. For the Red Oak Victory volunteers, this light off capped off over 20 years of hard work and dedicated effort. On July 9, 2018, the historic SS Red Oak Victory was towed from its berth in Richmond, California to the California Maritime Academy in Vallejo. At Cal Maritime, the crew had two main objectives. The first was to evaluate and identify engine room components that need to be repaired so that the ship can once again operate under her own power. The second objective was to observe and document the visible emissions from the stack. The U.S. Coast Guard was an integral part of this project. One or two representatives were always on board during the engine work. The Coast Guard staff observed and collaborated with the Red Oak Victory crew to troubleshoot issues and determine best outcomes. In addition, light-off activities were observed by the former and current commander of the California Maritime Academy training vessel, the Golden Bear. The Red Oak Victory boilers were successfully lit off nearly 20 times over five weeks, testing the auxiliary systems in the process as steam pressures were gradually raised to maximum levels. One turbine generator was put online enabling the Red Oak to run on ship's power alone. Gauges and leaks were checked. The team worked tirelessly to bring the Red Oak Victory engine room alive again. In spite of being dormant for five decades, the oil-fired boilers proved to be in remarkably good shape. Minor repairs on auxiliary machinery were performed as needed. Based on the recommendations of an environmental engineer from the local Bay Area Air Quality Management District, the crew conducted a formal procedure on August 10th to observe stack emissions. The crew followed EPA Method 22. Method 22 is a simple procedure that uses direct visual observations to determine the duration of visible emissions caused by the operation of an industrial source. The regulation is three minutes of visible emissions in any single hour. Observers note and record the transparency and opacity of visible emissions, as well as wind direction, wind speed, observer location, distance from the source, and date and times. During the test, videographers were stationed on the dock and on the ship's stern to record the stack emissions. The boiler economizers installed in the smokestack were cleaned of particulate prior to lighting off the boilers. The light-off did not introduce new particulate into the exhaust system. 
Two types of fuel were used for the light off, diesel and heavy fuel oil. The boilers were initially lit using diesel, the same type of fuel used in the trucks transporting the cars. Observers noted visible smoke during the initial 10 to 15 minutes of heating as the system came up to temperature. After the system was heated with diesel, the fuel source was changed to heavy fuel oil, which requires preheating prior to use. There was no appreciable smoke when fuel was switched from diesel to heavy oil. After the boiler furnaces reached optimum operating temperature, observers noted little to no smoke. Observable smoke did not extend beyond a 50-foot radius of the smokestack. The smoke, traveling with the wind, did not go beyond the length of the ship. After a successful light-off, the Red Oak Victory was towed back to Richmond on August 16th. The crew confirmed what they had hoped, that the Red Oak Victory's engine room has the potential of operating again after 50 years of non-operation. The next step is to get the ship fully operational to take passengers on the San Francisco Bay. This journey involves continued restoration and engine work at the ship's current location and moving the ship to dry dock to complete U.S. Coast Guard required repairs to the structure of the ship. To make all of this a reality, we need both funding and volunteers. To learn how you can help, visit our website at redoakvictory.us.